Coming to female contraceptive methods, people, again, we are left with two choices. Number one, it is going to be barrier and it's going to be surgical. Barrier and surgical. If not barrier and surgical, the third choice is going to be hormonal. So, the first two choices are similar for male contraceptive and the third choice hormonal is kind of exclusive for female contraceptives alone because it has not gotten to the point of clinical application in males. All right. So, we have three methods guys barrier, surgical and hormonal. We will start with each and every method. First thing first is going to be just pills. All right. There are pills which consist of estrogen and progesterone. And de depending on the kind of estrogen, depending on the kind of progesterone, subject has to consume the pill. You know, it's like once in a day or uh, twice in a day or once in a week like that. There are different preparations, combinations, people. But ultimately, they have got estrogen and progesterone. All right. And uh, the pros and cons are given here. There is pros and cons given here, people. It's highly effective, available, easy to use. And, you know, they have to carry it at the same time. So, don't worry, this page is going to be with you and uh, you can very well refer to these kinds of methods. We will just go on to the next method, guys. The second one is going to be external condom. This comes under barrier method. All right. So, first one is hormonal and the second one is going to be barrier, external condoms. Again, the third one is going to be hormonal, but the difference is this time the hormone is not given as a pill, rather the hormone is given as an injection injectable hormones all right number four again hormonal method but this time the hormone is given as a patch as a sticker five again hormonal method like a ring and six barrier method internal condoms initially we discussed external condoms and this one is internal condoms again a barrier method diaphragm and another barrier method cervical cap another barrier method cervical sponge Finally, chemical method, something different from hormones as well as barrier. Now, this chemical method or foam is gel is going to be killing the spermatozoas. So, it gets applied on the female genital tract and as it senses spermatozoas, when the spermatozoas crosses these gel or cream, it gets killed. It's spermicidal jellies, all right? And that's going to be chemical method, people. And when it comes to barrier, even though it looks easy to administer, it looks safer, there is no hormone involvement, there is no surgical involvement, the chances of failure with barrier method is very high and the adherence of subjects to barrier method is very less. It is very, very uncomfortable and hence people do not use this often. So, majority of Indian women gets restricted to these two methods, it is either surgical, the definitive one or hormonal. And between surgical and hormonal, let us get to see this point guys. When it comes to hormone based method, all we do is, we are going to administer either excess estrogen or a combo of estrogen plus progesterone or excess progesterone alone. It is going to be three. It is going to be excess estrogen or excess progesterone or both. What are we actually doing here? If we introduce so much of estrogen and progesterone, they go and negatively feedback FSH and LH. Because of negative feedback, there is no production of FSH and no production of LH. As a consequence of no production of FSH and LH, there is no follicular growth at all. There is absolutely no follicular growth. Without follicular growth, there is going to be no ovulation. There is going to be no ovulation. And without ovulation and follicular growth, obviously there is going to be no conception people. So that's the way 